a divine revelation of the love of God. We were praying at home with Zipporah and my husband Evangelist Conrad. As we prayed, suddenly I felt the love of God in a very powerful way. Immediately the memory of my earthly family was erased from my mind. I totally forgot I had earthly parents or even siblings. At this point, no one had to tell me that I am a child of God. I felt like God was my only father and I was greatly loved by him. I understood that I came from him and he just sent me here on earth to fulfill his mission then go back to him. I understood that heaven is my home and I just came to earth for a purpose. This is for every child of God. I saw the heavens open over me and I saw that I can have direct contact with my father at my discretion and I saw that he was intently watching over me while I was on earth, making sure I was okay. The Lord reminded me of his words in Matthew 7 9-11 where he says, If you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts to those who ask him? We usually think it's easier to ask for things from our earthly parents than it is to ask God in prayer. But if we understood how much he loves us, we would know that he is even more willing than our parents are to give us what we ask for. This scripture became so real to me. God loves us more than our earthly parents do. We don't force him to give us what we ask for, he gives them to us because he loves us. My father spoke to me and said, you have no reason to ever feel unloved, no reason to fear or worry, you have no reason to ever feel forsaken, because you are greatly loved and protected by your father. I felt so at peace. I felt so loved, cherished, protected by my father. Then I saw King Jesus. He was dressed like a very rich king and was standing in an extremely beautiful palace. It had very tall pillars, all pure white, with gold on the edges. It looked exquisite. More than beautiful. Immediately I saw this place I felt homesick. I felt like this place was home and I had been away from home for a very long time and couldn't wait to go back there. And suddenly I felt like royalty, like a princess, like the only child of a very rich king. I felt so spoiled. Although we are many, each child of God enjoys a relationship with him as if they were an only child, getting all his attention. My father said to me, you belong to the heavenly kingdom. The earthly kingdom is far below ours. So do not ever follow the standards of the earth because they are much inferior to the heavenly standards. Dress like we dress in our kingdom, do not dress like the earthly kingdom. Talk like we talk in our kingdom. You are my ambassador on earth do everything according to the standards of our kingdom. My sister Zipporah told me that when she looked at me, she saw me wearing golden clothes. When I looked, I saw that both Zipporah and my husband were dressed in royal clothes. I saw the flag of our kingdom being lifted high. It kept going higher and was of crimson red, which I understood to represent the blood of Jesus Christ. The Lord God my father spoke to me and said, do not ever feel unloved or forsaken. You are the apple of my eye. I am jealous for you. Whatever touches you, touches me. The Lord continued, You are an eagle and you belong to the heavenlies, therefore do not eat that which is found below, eat from my hand. He asked me, Are you ready to soar into the heavenlies? I said, Yes Lord. I am ready for whatever you want to do with my life. I saw two white eagles flying around the pillars of the palace I had seen before. Then he told me, I want to show you great things. Focus on me. Let me be the one you seek. Not a spiritual gift or revelation, but me. If you seek a gift of prophecy or of healing or a revelation, you will not find me. But if you seek me, you will find everything. Seek and find God. Most times when praying, if the light fills the room, it comes from above then fills the whole room. But this time around Zipporah saw the light coming from within us and then filling the whole room. The Lord said, when you are filled with the life of God, you are transformed and become like him. I saw Jesus filled with so much light. His body seemed to be made of light. As I prayed he began filling me till it was as if he was part of me not just inside but I could see his light penetrating all the way out. 
Then my father told me, you have to be filled with Jesus till he fills your whole life completely. Then you become like Jesus. Perfect Union The Lord showed my sister this illustration. She saw a Christian walking on the street. Because this person was so filled with Jesus, when demon incarnates looked at her, they actually saw Jesus walking on the streets. They exclaimed, has Jesus come back? He told my sister, when you are filled with the life of God, Jesus will be seen in you inside and out. Our Heavenly Father said to her, the more you know me and begin to understand who I am obedience will overflow from your hearts. She then saw obedience flowing from the center of her heart like a rushing flood. The Lord said, when you know me, you will obey me not because of rules written down but it will just flow from deep down your heart. Obedience will be normal to you.